Hi there, I'm Victoria and in this video I'll show you how to install WordPress on a virtual private server. If you're ready, let's start. If you want to earn money online through blogging or creating an e-commerce website, I recommend hosting a WordPress website on VPS. First, you will get dedicated resources, resulting in faster loading times and better performance. Second, upscaling resources will be easier as you can access the root server. And third, security-wise, VPS hosting is safer than shared hosting as your site won't be affected by other users' activities. Overall, a VPS offers better performance, scalability, and security, especially if you expect high traffic or want to build a resource-heavy website. While setting up a VPS account might seem tricky for beginners, it's very simple. Let's go through the steps. Now we get into the fun part. The first step to setting up your server is purchasing a hosting plan. Before you decide on a hosting plan, several factors to consider are customer support, performance, server resources, pricing, and security features. Our VPS hosting plan's pricing starts around $6 a month. Our VPS plans differ in server hardware resources, but they have similar features like snapshots or root access support. All VPS plans also offer robust security features such as Suhotion PHP hardening, which you can easily install from each panel. Hostinger also provides 24-7 support and AI assistant to ease server management. Let's head to hostinger.com and choose VPS hosting from the hosting menu. You can also access this page by clicking the link in the video description below. Click Start now to see the plan options. They all support most Linux operating systems, including Ubuntu, CentOS, Debian, Alma Linux, Rocky Linux, and Fedora. Choose any plan that suits your needs best. This time, we'll go with KVM2, the most popular one that's powerful enough to power small to medium websites. Pick the 12 month bundle for the best deal here, and don't worry about the commitment. You will be able to easily scale your resources anytime from your H panels members area. Then, create your hosting account by entering your email in this box. You can also use your Facebook or Google account for that. Select a payment method and choose your residing country. Don't forget to apply the VPS10 coupon code for an extra discount and complete the process. Once your payment is confirmed, let's move on to the next step. After getting a hosting plan ready, we should buy a domain name to make the website easily accessible. Think of the name that's catchy and memorable for your niche. A good domain name shouldn't be too long, and it would be better not to include any numbers or double letters. Make it easy to spell but still represent your website's topic. If you still don't have any idea right now, benefit from tools like ChatGPT or a domain name generator to give you multiple suggestions. Once you have a domain name, go to Domains menu on Hostinger's website. Type your desired domain name into the box and click Search. If the domain name is available, you will also see several extension suggestions. If not, our tool will suggest some alternatives. For this time, we'll go with .com as it's the most popular extension. Pick a domain name period and fill in your credentials just like buying the hosting plan earlier. After proceeding with the payment, we can now set up the VPS. Log into the hosting account to access HPanel. Click this Setup button beside the VPS hosting we bought. Now we get to the Configuration Wizard. Let's start. Select the server's location here. Choose the closest one to your residence to improve the website's loading speed. Then choose the operating system to run the server. Pick OS with Control Panel for easier server management, especially for beginners. You can switch to another VPS operating system later, but it will wipe all of your website data. So, if you want to do that, ensure it's necessary and don't forget to back up your website files. Next, choose the control panel for the server configuration. We will use Cloud Panel. If you have another panel in mind, you can see more options by clicking this menu. Proceed with setting up the control panel's password. You will need this to log in to the Cloud Panel. Ensure to meet all the requirements for the secure password. I also recommend creating complex passwords and saving them in the password manager to prevent cyber threats. Then click Continue. 
Here we will set the server's name and password. You can change this default name to anything you want. But if you still can't think of one right now, just skip and change it later. Set a strong server password and make it different from the control panel's one to prevent data breaches. Hit save and continue. That's it. We're done with the server initial configuration. Review the information here and click finish setup if everything is right. Note that the process can take several minutes to finish. Once it's over, go back to each panel where we can see the VPS main dashboard like this. Here you can see the general overview of the VPS, access the command line interface, renew or upscale the plan, and apply various server configuration settings. If you need quick help changing your server settings, access our AI Assistant tool through this menu. It can answer any questions you have about configuring your VPS. Simply input your prompt here and let the AI tool guide you. That said, remember that AI tool may produce inaccurate information, so always use it cautiously. For your domain to work with the VPS hosting, you need to point the domain to your server. If not, your website won't be accessible to the public. Pointing your domain name also lets you enable custom email for your VPS. While there are several ways to update this DNS configuration, let's do the easiest one by changing DNS A records. Access each panel and go to Domains. The domain we bought earlier will be shown here. Select the domain name and click DNS name servers on the sidebar. Go to DNS records tab. Delete the existing A records containing at www or Cloudflare Resolve 2. Skip this step if there's none. Then add two new A records by selecting A for both lists under type. Enter at and www under name. Fill in your VPS IP address, which you can find on each panel under points. Finally, keep the TTL default value of 14,400. After pointing your domain name to the server, wait for the DNS propagation to finish. This may take up to 24 hours. To be sure, you can check the propagation status by visiting whatsmydns.net. Type your domain name here, choose NS from the drop-down menu, and hit search. You'll see a green check mark if the propagation process has been completed. You can install WordPress on VPS using SSH access or a control panel for an easier process. We will go through the latter option using Cloud Panel that we set up earlier. The login URL and credentials will differ depending on the control panel. You can check them by navigating to the Panel Access tab on the dashboard. Click this login URL to access Cloud Panel. Since we haven't installed an SSL, the browser may detect this connection as not secure. That's alright, let's continue the process as we will install SSL later. Fill in the username with admin as shown on each panel and enter the control panel password we set before. Once logged in, click Add Site and choose Create a WordPress site. Complete all the fields on the page, change the passwords if you want, or directly add these default ones to your password manager. The name you fill in the site user field is an SSH user. All files will be stored in the home directory. Click Create and wait for the process to finish. That's it, WordPress is now installed on your server. Save all these credentials in your password manager as you may need them along with your website building journey. An SSL certificate encrypts the data exchanged between your website and visitors' browsers. In other words, installing SSL keeps your data secure. Note that you can only perform this step once your domain has successfully propagated. With Cloud Panel, you'll get a self-certified SSL by default. To check that, click Manage and go to SSL TLS tab. Click this action button to add a free SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt. It is provided for free from Cloud Panel. After that, add the domain names and click Create and Install to issue the certificate. If your website requires another paid SSL certificate, you can also import and install it using the same action button. Now we are all set with the website configuration. It's time to finally design the WordPress website from the admin dashboard to access add slash wp-admin to your domain URL. 
type the WordPress credentials you saved earlier and click log in. Once you get in, you can start designing by picking a theme, adding plugins, and customizing your website as you want. If you need a comprehensive guide to build a WordPress website from scratch, I'll link our videos about that. So that's how you install WordPress on VPS. Feel free to leave your questions in the comments below. I would really appreciate your like and share of this video if you found the content helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to Hosting Your Academy channel for more tutorials like this. And thanks for watching and good luck with your online journey.